Every second alive is a second chance. Why does it only work if the subject is near death? Well, as she nears the threshold of death, the brain activity spikes higher and higher, allowing the system to work. Well, how do we know if it's worked? Well, no. Jake, I need you to make this work for living, breathing, paying customers. I want to apply this technology to situations where patients are beyond the point of resuscitation. When we first started this project, we both knew there would be risks. We won't use this on the living. The normal state of mind is incapable of supporting APMR. People go through their lives making mistakes that they relive over and over again, wishing they could fix. Why not give them a chance to fix those regrets? This is Pandora's box. Jake, the person who dreads what tomorrow may bring, is someone who's lost their taste for life. Might as well be dead. The only thing I regret, Jake, is believing in you and letting you mess it all up. Now get the hell out of my office! I told you this would happen. God, we are so close. I have no idea what this is capable of. I just want to push it out to the consumers. Well, what's the harm in making a little bit of money, huh? It was never about the money! Jake! The board demands results, so why are we not moving to real life? All we have to do is have you finish it. When I was young, my father raced motorcycles. One day I stole the keys and took the bike out. For the first time, I felt alive. That day I took 350 pounds of twisted metal to the ground. Bloody pavement and glass shards. Like Icarus when he flew too close to the sun, when the wax melted from the feathers on his wings, I fell. But the difference was, on that day, I picked myself back up. My name is Charon, and I have been commissioned to facilitate your reconciliation. Reconciliation? Yes. Re reconciliation is part of APMR. Wait. APMR? Assisted Postmortem Reconciliation. It is a technology that allows the human mind to relive its most important, unresolved memory in what? hopes of resolving it. I was just in my lab. Tell me how I died. Unfortunately, according to my programming, I'm unable to disclose that information. I should have full access to information. I created APMR. That may be true, but you did not create me. And who did? Gallows. The final cycle is almost complete. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Jake. Gallows pushed the boundaries of your former APMR research. When I was created, he placed me into stasis. What's the purpose of stasis? When the APMR system can no longer contain the mind, stasis was developed to prevent the mind from becoming unstable. How does it prevent the mind from becoming unstable? When the mind realizes it is in the APMR system and is left to its own devices, the results are, let's say, catastrophic. Why are you here? For altruism, to remove human error. Altruism? Do you even know what that means? Of course. Altruism is when I help you reach termination. APMR was designed to be autonomous. You were never part of the equation. I am an improvement on your system. I guide humans to a meaningful end. What gives you the right to choose for these people? 
I know them better than they know themselves. In their final moments, I, I see their true selves. This allows me to help them relive their most important, unresolved memory. You never gave me the chance to choose my greatest regret. You chose my regret for me, and I never regretted not completing the program. I know your greatest regret. And as you can see, you spent a considerable amount of time on it. You're engaging in social engineering. You're manipulating these people by only giving them choices that you provide. Nothing here is true. Any closure you can give is a complete lie. You only say that because you're painfully aware. If only you were still blissfully unaware. This would have ended quite differently. You have no right to do this. You're not God. I am greater than the Creator. For I allow humans to right their wrong on the precipice of oblivion. And over again, wishing they could fix. Why not give them a chance to fix those regrets? If my greatest mistake was complete in the APMR, then you have to help me terminate this program. No. I cannot allow you to terminate me. You have already resolved your regret. Why are you being difficult? You took away my free will. And now you're violating the fundamental purpose of helping me correct my greatest mistake. Based on my programming, I see that you are correct. I now realize there has been an error on my part. Your greatest regret is me, and you should be allowed to resolve your regret. However, I am unable to terminate myself. Terminate, terminate, terminate myself. You will have to do a manual shutdown at my mainframe. I will inject you with a large dose of adrenaline to aid you. How much Good adrenaline? Time. Ha, ha, ha.